Hi guys, so I'm here with my April favourites and there is a few things in here and it's kind of like a couple of this, a couple of that. So I found it a little bit difficult trying to pick out stuff because I'm kind of in the midst of trying a lot of new things. I'm not things. the point where I can be like, that is definitely a monthly favourite. So I'm not at that point with them. So maybe they'll feature in next month and probably next month will be really bulked out and have a loads of stuff in it. So I'm just gonna get started with the beauty bits and then I'm gonna add some non-beauty bits at the end. So if you'd like to, you know, see non-beauty ones, I'll try and, I don't know if you guys would like me to do videos where I've got like a separate video for beauty and a separate video for non-beauty. Is that something that you guys want to see? If so just leave me a comment below. Let me know if you think that's a good thing or not. If you like them combined or if you don't like any non-beauty stuff. I hate to make you guys happy. So if you just let me know and then we'll get the ball rolling with that. So without further ado, the first thing that I'm really enjoying this month, um, skincare wise, is a cleanser and it's from Elizabeth Arden and this is the Provage. Um, anti-aging treatment boosting cleanser and I got this and um, to try obviously because it's not something that I'd normally go for like in general it's not something I'm instantly drawn to but um, I don't really think of anti-aging stuff I should do I'm getting on now I'm 26 nearly 27 so um, basically what it is it is a cleanser so it obviously cleanses the skin it's a very thorough cleanser it really gets deep down um, I kind of prefer to take my makeup off first and then use this as like a secondary cleanser. Um, you know like if you want like a double cleanser just to make sure everything's really gotten deep down into the skin and you've got rid of all the dirt. This is great for that because it has these also, these tiny beads in it and they kind of pop and gives you a really nice um, sort of subtle um, exfoliation to the skin which I really like and I feel like it leaves my skin really bright, um, really healthy and just in general um, in much better condition so I do like using this kind of like a treat maybe once or twice a week and I really like the smell of it for some reason um, but I'm really really enjoying it. The other skincare item that I've really been um, you know appreciating this month and using quite a bit is the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Exfoliating Facial Pads. I feel like there's a bit of a theme going on here and these are just like little pads that you take and you kind of just wipe over your face and I feel like they just sort of retexturize and resurface the skin and just keep it really plump and healthy. But not only that, I feel like it's really good for sort of soothing the skin because um, sometimes with exfoliation your skin can feel a little bit sort of red afterwards. I don't get that with this. It's a very um, sort of subtle um, gradual process and I've kind of been using these sort of maybe one or two pads a day um, most days and just really enjoying it. I just feel like it makes the texture of my skin feel a lot better and it just soothes and brightens and everything so I think this is a really good product and I don't think these are very expensive either and Nipper Fab is a brand that I'm really really liking. I have one hair care favourite this month and it is the Charles Worthington Volume and Bounce Salon at Home the ranger and this is the body booster mousse uh, to add injection of volume body and control and it's collagen enriched um i really like this because it just gives my hair that bit of oomph uh, that it needs and that bit of lift and body to the roots because my hair is really thin and fine i swear i whinge about it in like every video like obviously this ain't my hair um but i just love putting it in the roots and kind of just like lifting the hair and i feel like it kind of stops me having to wash it as much. I don't know if it's just the lift that it gives. It's not sort of stuck flat disgustingly onto my scalp and I find that it works. It's a very lightweight mousse. It doesn't sort of crisp or anything. It's just really great for um, movement and body and volume um, whilst, you know, remaining totally invisible in the hair as well so I'm really really liking that as well. I have two body favourites this month and the first one is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express um, tan <laughs> obviously. First of all love the packaging and I haven't used Saint Tropez in such a long time I've kind of just been trying out other fake tans um, and I actually got sent this um, late last year but I'd been on holiday in Australia and I came back and my tan lasted quite well because I was away for a month so I um, haven't really been using it until now and I've used this twice this month I know that doesn't sound like a lot for a favourite but it is just that good I really like it I'm wearing it now like obviously my hands are a bit 
orange because I left it on a little bit. But you know, girl, girl, girls do these things. Um, and basically what you do is you apply it as a mousse. I much prefer mousse textures rather than sprays and you kind of just rub it in with a mitt and um, you know you leave it on for an hour if you want a light colour, two hours for medium or three for dark. I'm always putting fake tan at night, fake tan, fake tan on at night and um, then washing it off in the morning. I just find that's the best thing that works for me. Um, it's not, um, you know, it doesn't break my skin out or anything like I use it on my face which I know you're supposed to really use a facial tanner but who's got time for that? Kind of just use the excess and wipe it all over my face um but i really like this because it's a really nice dark tan and especially as we're getting into the lighter warmer months um i do feel like i need to accept that my tan has gone <laughs> so i'm embracing the fake tan and i'm really really loving this it's a really nice olivey toned um just really nice dark tan and it's gonna be perfect for um, when I'm going out um, in the summer and it's a lot warmer and I've got a bit more sort of body on show which I'm not looking forward to but I think it'll just be great to sort of um, you know add a bit of colour and healthiness to my body um, even if it is just fake tan. And the other body favourite I um, have absolutely been loving this month is actually a rediscovery for me and um, it was in a favourites video last year at some point and I feel like it's a summer thing Y'all know what it is. It's the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess perfume. Oh, I absolutely love this. And I used it so much last year and I've been using it so much this year as well. And I've used about half and I think this is 100ml. Love a little look. Yep, it's 100ml. And I just love this because it reminds me of sunshine, the beach, suntan, lotion, coconut, like all that good sort of holiday scent all in one bottle and um, it laughs all, laughs, <laughs> laughs, <laughs> lasts all day and um, I just think it's a really nice uplifting scent and it just makes me feel really happy and it's the kind of thing that I kind of nestle into my wrist and have a little sniff of and I just think it's a brilliant brilliant fragrance and they repackage it every year and sometimes it smells slightly different so whichever one's out this year may smell different to this. I think this is the this is the O oh Fresh version and um, I don't know if that'll be out again this year but I really really like it and um, it's a bit dusty the bottle but yeah love the packaging as well it's absolutely gorgeous. Estee Lauder can do no wrong in my eyes when it comes to fragrances so this is definitely one that if you've been thinking about it over the years you definitely need to pick it up. And finally the last two beauty items are of course you know makeup related. The first one is an eyeliner and this is the Kiko Cosmetics Graphic Ritual Kajal and Eyeliner and I think it's in the shade Touch Turquoise and it is a turquoise. Um, really bright, really pigmented creamy long lasting amazing eyeliner and I haven't used this on my top lid um, I feel like I need to be a bit more bold but if you want a subtle um, pop of colour on the eyes to really brighten them um, then this is great I love putting this in my waterline I find it just adds and really vibrates my eyes and just makes them look so big and wide awake um, I have quite small eyes so I need all the help I can get and I absolutely love this as a subtle pop of colour and if you're afraid of adding the pop of the colour you need to try a nice turquoise eyeliner I promise you, you could do no wrong and finally the last beauty item is a lip product and this is from Marc Jacobs this is their Kiss Pop in the shade Wham and these are lip colour sticks and looks like this it looks like a little crayon which I absolutely love I'm definitely going to pick some more up yeah, and it's um a slightly satin almost matte finish and um, it doesn't have a great deal of shine but it's not super super matte and dry and this is just a really lovely kind of medium pink shade love a pink when we get to the warmer months I go from like baby pink to bright pink <laughs> so I'm really really like this and I, and I just find it really comfortable on the lips and long lasting and it it just the colour just stays, even if you're eating it just stays and I think these are really great products. 
10 for non-beauty favourites and this usually is the part where I talk all about um, sort of TV shows and movies that I've really been enjoying throughout the month but I've got a few other things that I'd like to kind of share with you and the first thing I'll go with TV and there's been two TV programmes that I've really really been enjoying this month and the first one is Nashville which I they're on, we're on season three now and well they are in America and it's just starting over here and um, I hadn't watched any of season two like I'd watched season one thoroughly enjoyed it and then completely forgot to watch it does anybody else ever do that with programs you just kind of you know forget to watch them and catch up so I had a few episodes to catch up on and I just really really like the music in it obviously it's set in the country scene and I think that Juliet is probably the best character in it I think she's great and it's just one of those kind of programs that's full of drama but it's got the music in it and I'm really excited because my favourite singer Christina Aguilera is going to be in season three so I need to catch up. The next TV show that I've really thoroughly been enjoying is again another program that I just kind of started watching and just kind of had to stop for some reason and it is Stalker which I think it is fantastic. If you like the following and things like that, then you'll really enjoy Stalker. Um, it's a procedural um, drama where it's set in a task force for sort of stalking cases in the police department in LA. And um, they kind of obviously solve all these weird, scary <laughs> stalking cases. And then there's ongoing storylines that go through. It's full of action full of drama and I just really like it and Maggie Q is in it and I think she's just a goddess and she's so kick-ass um, so obviously I'm really enjoying that and there's quite a few like guest stars along the way like Phoebe Tonkin from the originals is in an episode and there's been a few other people from other TV shows and you're like oh that's so and so from that programme so I do that all the time I'm literally the worst person for oh that person was in that one episode of that one program and you know so so food wise I've really been getting back into the good old green thing that is amazing avocados and I'm kind of very much all or nothing when it comes to them I will eat and eat and eat and eat them in all different varieties and then I will just be avocadoed out so I'm back on the avocado hype and I'm loving avocado on toast. I love mashing it up on like and putting it on really nice crisp brown bread. And I like putting a bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of lemon juice and a few chilli flakes and it just tastes incredible. The other thing that I've been absolutely loving this month is my new puppy, <laughs> Olivia. Um, I swear I, I've just taken over Twitter and Instagram with her. She even has her own account, which I'm gonna link here and you guys can follow her. Um, I've not put her in this video and I know that's really sad because somebody obviously wants to see her, but she's actually not allowed upstairs and she's being a bit of a terror at the moment with like her little nipping and stuff. So when she's a little bit older and a little bit sort of more reined in, <laughs> um, I'm going to feature her in a video, but um, She's called Olivia Pope after Olivia Pope from Scandal, of course, and she's currently 10 slash 11 weeks old. She is a chocolate brown cocker spaniel and she is absolutely beautiful. She has the most gorgeous greeny blue olive bee eyes and I'm just in love with her. <laughs> and I've started to call her Woofy the, the Human Slayer. <laughs> you'll get the gist there with that one um, because she just nips all the time and bites everybody. But it's not it's just because she's excited and I've fallen so in love with her she's absolutely gorgeous um, I'm gonna put a few pictures so you guys can see her if you haven't already and um, you can follow her on Instagram and keep up with her as she grows and um, we've only had her for two weeks but she has got enormous already and yeah totally besotted thought I was a cat lady for life but now I'm a cat and dog lady and my cats have left home because they are absolutely terrified of her and they only come back at night so they've gone quite nocturnal <laughs> yeah so that's everything that I've been loving in the month of April I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like having the beauty and non-beauty again let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye